Good morning to you. I trust that you're well. Given that tomorrow is Father's Day here in Australia, I'm just going to take a pause from our readings and acts, and I want to read to you from Psalm 121, which describes our Heavenly Father in such a beautiful way. Um, it's called the Lord, the Keeper of Israel. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful psalm? And the Bible tells us that once we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we become children of God. And as God's children, we know that we have a Father in heaven who is always looking out for us. And this psalm so beautifully tells us that he neither sleeps nor slumbers. In Psalm 139, David writes, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You understand my thought from afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down, and are intimately acquainted with all my ways. Even before there is a word on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all. And in this next verse, you have enclosed me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's too high. I cannot attain to it. Do you say with David when you think about God and how wonderful he is, it's, it's, too, it's too high for me to understand. It's too hard for me. We don't have to understand. We just have to accept it and thank him and bless him and praise him. He's always awake. He's always watching over you. You have a father in heaven who loves you and who cares for you. And if I'm getting excited, it's because I'm excited by the fact that I know that we have a heavenly Father who is incredible love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. So if you believe upon him, then the best is yet to come. God has provided so much for you here now. But what about what's still coming? It's fantastic. We have a Father. We can say, Abba, Father. We come to him at any time knowing that he loves us. He is behind us, before us, around us. He lays his hand upon us. He never slumbers or sleeps. Join with me now in, a, in, a, in just thanking him. Heavenly Father, we bless you, praise and worship you. We thank you so much uh, as we think about how wonderful you are and that you are not a God who is far off, but you are right here with us and that you are our Heavenly Father that when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we become a part of your family. We are children of God and we have a beautiful inheritance. We know that our inheritance is wonderful in heaven. But even here on earth, you look after us. I remember when you said, Jesus, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So we ask you for your Holy Spirit. We ask you, Lord, that you would just empower us, that you would just help us to live this life to the full, to be the best version of ourselves that we can possibly be, to trust in you even when we don't see you, to know that you are always awake. You are always with us. You surround us. You lay your hand upon us. When we sleep, you are watching over us. When we awake we are still with you and so we bless praise and worship you we repent of all of our sins and we ask lord that you would cleanse us and renew us we pray for those who do not know you yet we pray that today would be the day as we're heading into this this weekend lord which is father's day weekend we thank you for our families we live in a time when the concept of family has been eroded so much and attacked and broken down help us to return to the foundations to realize that you created man and woman and lord that you are family that's where a family comes from. And we pray, Lord, that you would just, just bless our families and that you would help us to uh, just return to our, our normality in, in society and to understand things the way they are. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you. We ask your blessing over this day. We pray for those souls that don't know you yet. And we ask that today would be the day that many would turn to you. We ask for your blessing over our families. We pray for your blessing over our country, our leaders and those in authority. We pray for those who are suffering in the Ukraine and suffering in other countries where there's war and famine and disease and all sorts of other things. Heavenly Father, we pray for the sick. We pray for the dying, the lonely. We pray especially for the lost once again, and we pray that they would turn to you and that many more would come into your family. 
Take us by the hand today, lead us and guide us. And thank you once again that we are never alone. And we pray now that beautiful prayer which begins with that great assurance, our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you for tomorrow's Father's Day sermon. Take care and have a wonderful weekend.